I know a lot of riders set set some pretty big goals at the beginning of the season, and I've I've pretty much just taken every race as every race comes to me. You know, I don't focus on you know a race six months from now or you know every track's different, every race is different, and every every time you go there, there's different riders. So I just take every race for for what it is, and and that's about it. Yeah, you can't can't focus too much on the future because you don't really know what it's going to hold, but you do want to have a game plan going into a season, and you don't want to shoot for the stars too crazily. I mean, I know everyone wants to be the next Brian Smith and stuff like that, but, uh, you know, just focus on maybe winning some local races, getting your confidence up so when you do go to those nationals, you can put it in the main event with confidence and then go from there and slowly, you know, move your way up the ladder. Um, yeah, you don't need to set any crazy goals, but just as long as you're having fun, I mean, that's the number one goal. I mean, if you're not having fun, then I wouldn't even wouldn't even show up. So that's why we're here today is because we're having fun. <laughs> having clear goals is probably one of the biggest aspects to becoming a better rider. Once you meet your goal, you gain confidence. Once you gain confidence, you start doing better. So for me, last year, my goal was to get a top 10 finish in GNC2, or AFT singles now. And I accomplished that goal, so that, that definitely boosted me up a little bit. This year, things are going to be different. I'm moving up to AFT Twins, and it should be a completely different experience. Um, my goals, personally, are probably to get a top 15 finish uh, in the point standings when it's all said and done. Um, and also, I'm looking for a couple top fives. I think that that's definitely within our reach uh, at certain tracks. I, I think we could definitely get a couple top fives in there. So.